Yo, so today we're gonna talk about OTC trading. Is it worth it? Yeah, I would say so. If you are somebody who actually wants to learn how to trade and you are practicing support and resistance, you're practicing different zones, you're practicing top-down analysis, going from the 15 to the M1, marking your stuff up right, I think OTC is worth it. But if you're just jumping in here trying to make quick money, you're gonna get manipulated and you're not gonna know how to handle it and it's just gonna get ugly. But those people who actually take it serious, I think it's worth it because it's a lot of people who eat off OTC, you know what I'm saying? Including myself, I do both. You know, I trade regular Forex pairs and I trade OTC. The reason why I trade more OTC is because of the higher payouts. But again, I'm gonna show you how today how you could trade OTC. There's no difference between the live and the demo. Some people say they run up their demo to 200K, but when they get in the live, they can't hit for nothing. They can't make no money. And honestly, it's because of your psychology. I'm telling you, it's just psychology. There's no difference. It, the only difference is, is your money. So you're gonna be a lot more scared on the trades that you play. You're not gonna be as confident. Uh, and it's just not gonna be right for you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no discipline. So. I'm gonna show you how to trade it today, man. So we're gonna get straight to this video. Let's go. Yo, so now, all right, let's look at, um, we ain't gonna look at Intel. Let's look at Boeing. All right, Boeing is a little, eh, it's a little iffy. A couple things you need to look for, man. You need to look if it's a consistent trend, kind of like how it is right here. You see how this was just going up, bouncing, going up. But now we breaking structure and we kind of into a downtrend, about to go back up, kind of confusing, so. Let's, let's look at Amex. Sometimes you gotta go through certain pairs to get what you want. Now on Amex, if you're looking at it right, you can see right here that it's a little choppy. It's a little up and down, a little choppy. You know what I'm saying? So you want something that's consistent. So we just, we keep going through other pairs. And Apple's looking a little weird. Intel was looking all right. McDonald's, McDonald's. All right, boom, I like McDonald's. Why? Because if you look at it, you can see some consistency, all right? Let me go to like a minute, boom. All right, we know it's a downtrend on the M1, but let me go to the M15. So we always check the M15 just to see the overall trend. As you can see on that M15, man, that trend is your friend. Where it been going? Straight down. All right, so it ain't really too much analysis we gotta do. The only analysis I need to do is put a line right here, a horizontal line. So I'm gonna grab one. And you might ask, why are you putting it right there? Because look at the pattern. We bounce at the middle of the Keltner, bounce at the middle of the Keltner, bounce at the middle of the Keltner, go down. So if it come back up here, we expecting it to come back to the middle, you know, later on. So it's a 15 minute candle. So that could take 15 to 30 minutes, you know, or a little bit longer than that before it hits, you know, that level. But then I come to the M5, see if I see any smaller zones, which I do right here. So anytime you get a point that touches, turns around, that's a zone. All right, so I mark up one more. All right, boom. Then I go to the M1. If I see any smaller zones on the M1, then we good. I do. I see a couple. I see one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we see a couple. So matter of fact, I'm just going to click on this. Click this a couple times grab some of these and mark up some of these smaller zones. So this is top down analysis, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is called taking your time and this is how you eat on OTC pairs. All right. I even see another small one. So I'm gonna just, I like to mark mine up to the T. You can separate them by color, which I usually do, but right now I'm not. All right, so now if you look at the market right now, the M1, we can see. Now we headed back in this direction but we know it's an overall downtrend. So on the M1, we come up to about right here at its highest and turn around. So we know we can get a turnaround between now, this level, or any of these levels is the turnaround level. Usually don't go no higher than that, all right? So you can either buy up or you can sell at the best points. Now the best thing to do, honestly, would be to sell, wait for the pullback and then sell, but if you're more experienced, you could trade the buy too and then catch the sale on the way down. You know what I'm saying? So now I base my stuff off the one minute. Um, I trade off the one minute uh, candle. And I also do like one minute on, you know, my time that I'm trading on. Now, if it doesn't go in a certain amount of time, then I might raise it up a little bit. Uh, but let's just play around. So I'm going to do, let's do $100. All right. 
And I feel like we're getting rejection on the middle of the Keltner. So I'm gonna sell here. All right, now at 30 seconds, I'm, I'm doing a minute trade in 30 seconds. If this does not go, if it's not in profit, then I need to place a $150 trade on a sale. Now, why is that? The reason why is because if I lose $100, I need to make my $100 back. So I do $150 to make my $100 back plus a $50 profit. If it goes, then we good. Now, you can continue to trade if you want to, but if you hit your goal, then you good. So we hit the 30 second mark and I'm in profit. So I don't touch it. Now you could place multiple trades if you want to. If you want to do 10 seconds, you could do that or however you want to do it, but I leave mine like this. All right, we're getting rejection. We got 17 seconds left. And so far we looking pretty good. All right, 10 seconds left and we let it run. All right, why we in the downtrend? Three, two, one, boom, money. All right, now, again, if you're getting those rejections, you can, you can keep selling or you can wait. All right, I see we got a clear rejection. Look at that, a clear rejection here. Now, another rule of thumb, check this out. If we start shooting down here, this candle has to connect to the zigzag. So since we're shooting down, you probably got another minute or you could do five seconds or 10 seconds before we get to that, uh, I end up doing 150, that's cool. But you got another, probably another minute or so before the zigzag connects to this candle. Now, sometimes it happens right away, sometimes it plays around and then it happens. But, you know, you might have another minute or, you know, five seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. So I usually place a couple sales in that direction when I know that we're already pushing down, trying to connect to this zigzag again. You know what I'm saying? So eventually you'll see it happen. It'll push down, this zigzag will connect to this candle, and then boom. All right, so we're going to watch and see what happens. All right. So sometimes you get faked out, like it'll look like it's about to connect, and then this candle will just shoot way up. So we'll see if that's the case here. But for now, I don't know. We're gonna see. He's looking like he still wanna push down. So this is a good, a good, uh, good looking trade. At the last few seconds, they're gonna give it to me or not? What are we doing? What are we doing? Three, two, one. Looks like we got it. Boom. All right, and he still might push down a little bit more. So if you wanna hit him with the five seconds, ah, I just connected, too late. Just connected. All right, you see it? Now it's pushing down. Boom. And so I do that all the time. That's a, a quick tip that might help some of y'all for real. If you ever see, for instance, if the market is shooting up and it's getting close to, to the zigzag. So let's say the last place the market stopped was like right here on this candle. But you see this new one forming. The zigzag is here, but you see this new one shooting up. That mean this zigzag is gonna connect to this candle eventually, so this one's gonna have to push back up. So then I would start buying, catch the zigzag, boom, get out. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. Now you could do that on one minute or you could do that on five or 10 seconds, however you wanna do it. But that's kind of what I do. So overall, again, mark your stuff up right, M15, M5, M1, uh, and then just trade with the trend. Catch the bounces, you know, look for the market to weaken out. And what do I mean by weaken out? You see how we getting strong, big candles here. We got a big candle going up and then these little ones start weakening a little bit. Then they got strong because they reject it. See, they reject it, boom, reject it, boom. Got bigger, got bigger. So you can just look for little stuff like that. All right, now, got about seven minutes, all right, bet. Let me look at Tesla. Tesla's pretty cool. The reason why Tesla's cool because I can clearly see that the sale is coming up based off the stochastic. All right, we pushing. I see all these zones. I don't even got to mark them and I see them. Zone right here, but I'll mark them for y'all. This on the M1, so I, you know, I ain't even do the M15 yet, but M1, boom. So this is a zone, turned around here last time. Another zone, another zone, another zone. So we got a lot of zones on the M1 that they could potentially hit before they turn around. All right, usually what happens to the left side is it usually happens to the right again. So that's kind of how you could predict the market a little bit. All right, so. Looking like a sale. Now, if you're not sure, you don't want to do a minute. Do five seconds, do 10 seconds, you know what I'm saying? But I like to do a minute, so I'm gonna go a minute. Now, my thing is, I know we got to do a pullback, but it may continue up. So the pullback may not be that long, honestly. So I'm gonna sell for a minute, 
and we'll see. Pullback may not be that long, why? Because we already broke structure when we passed this area. Broke it, shooting up. I know we gotta do a pullback probably somewhere in here and then probably head back this way. That's market structure. But so far I'm right. We'll see how long this trade, how long this trade goes. But you see how fast you can find entries? You know what I'm saying? When you mark it up right, you can find entries pretty dang fast. You feel me? So, you know, whether this goes or not, which it looks like it, but you know, sometimes at the last second, they'll try to get you. But that's a, that's a decent entry. I ain't gonna lie, that's sniper. So, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I got 17 seconds left. Very confident in this trade. Easy money. And this is how you trade OTC. Found that quick, hopped in, made a bag. Come on, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me my money. <laughs> yes, sir. Give me that. Yes, sir. All right. So, the next rule of thumb, where would it turn around at? Look to the left. Where does bounce and turn around? Where does bounce and turn around? Throw a zone right there. Grab this. Boom. That's one level it could turn around. It could turn around before the end. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Yep, it's a zone right here. Bounce right here, turned around. And look where it turned around at. Look to the left. All right? So that's how you trade OTC. I don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully this blessed you, man. Again, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you should get to know him. Because he's the only way I'm living how I'm living and doing what I'm doing. You feel me? So get to know him. You know what I'm saying? Build a good relationship. Love on people. You know what I'm saying? The way you want to be loved on. And I ain't talking about in a sexual way. You feel me? Because you die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nah. But for real though, man, I love y'all. I hope this helped. Uh, we got a lot of videos coming, trips and all that. So stay tuned. And Lord willing, I'll see you on another video. Peace. Going in a different location. Talk to God when I need some direction. Me and Vinci go up every session. Cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure. Yeah, you know how we do what we all in. We can slow up and you never get.